Hello Year 1, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's measuring capacity lesson. Today we are going to continue with capacity and also well done to those of you who have sent in your work to the Year 1 email address. Before we start our learning, please can you write the short date 29.04.2020 and the LI to measure capacity with non-standard units. Pause the video to complete this. For today's lesson, you will need your workbook, a pencil, so please remember to write with a pencil and not with a pen, three small containers like bottles or cups or buckets, a spoon, and rice, sand or water. Measuring capacity. Capacity is a measure of how much something can hold. We usually talk about capacity with liquid like water. When something holds as much liquid as it can, we say that it is at full capacity. So remember yesterday we were looking at how things are full. So when it is holding as much liquid as it can and it can't have any more, that means that it is full. Pause the video to tell your adult what different equipment can we use to hold and measure liquid. We can use bottles, measuring jugs, beakers, measuring spoons, cups or glasses and buckets. Well done if you got any of those. Now, which has the larger capacity? Do you think that it is the mug or the bucket? Well done if you said the bucket. Which has a larger capacity? Is it this jar or this spoon? Well done if you said the jar. Which has a larger capacity? Which of these can hold the most liquid? Is it this glass or this fish tank? Well done if you said the fish tank. Which has the larger capacity? Is it these measuring spoons or this carton of milk? Well done if you said that this it is this carton of milk. Which of these has the larger capacity? Which of these containers can hold more liquid? Is it this bowl or the bath? Well done if you said the bath. Now, how many of beakers of water do you think that this jug will hold? So this big one over here is the jug and this little one is the beaker. Now we're going to take water from the beaker to see how many we need to fill the jug. So let's see. One, but we can still fill some more. Two and three. This jug holds three beakers of water. How many beakers of water do you think this bucket will hold? Tell your adult, have a guess. Okay, let's see if you were right. One, two, three, we can add some more, four, it's nearly full, and five. This bucket holds five beakers of water. Pause the video to tell your adult how many beakers of water you think this glass will hold. Now let's see if you were right. One, two, this glass holds two beakers of water. Now if you were in Mrs Coker, Miss Thurlow or my phonics group, Miss Morgan's phonics group, can you get your small containers, your spoon and your rice, sand or water? What you're going to do is choose a container and write it down in the name of container section of the table and then you are going to see how many spoons of rice, sand or water you need to fill the container. So just like we were with the other containers and the beakers, you are going to put rice, sand or water on your spoon and fill your containers to see how many spoons you need. Pause the video if you are in Mrs Coker, Miss Thurlow or my phonics groups. This is your activity for today. 
If you are in Mrs Meta or Miss Huth's phonics or Miss Zadie's phonics groups, you can get your containers, your spoon, your rice, sand or water as well. Choose your first container and write the name of the container in the box. And then you are going to make a prediction. Remember, prediction means a guess. So you are going to see how big the container is and guess how many spoons you will need. Then you can write it down in the, in the prediction part here. And then you are going to put your spoons of rice, sand or water into the container and see if you are correct. How many um, spoons did you really need to fill your container? Were you correct? And this is your extension for everybody who has finished this, their activity. Timmy pours his cups into the bottle and they fill it exactly. So we've got his cups here, four cups, and he is going to put them back into the bottle. Timmy says the bottle has a capacity of four cups. Do you agree? Pause the video to tell your adult if you agree and why. The answer is... Timmy is wrong, he has not filled the cups to the top, so his measuring is inaccurate. So we can see here is his only full cup. So if Timmy had four cups that looked like this, that were full, and put those into the bottle, and that was full, then it would have a capacity of four cups. But we can see that these cups are not completely full. So Timmy is wrong. Remember to send your work to the year one email so that we can see your measuring experiments. I'd love to see what you have been experimenting. And here we have Melinda's work from Clee class. She was um, learning her new capacity and measuring vocabulary. Well done, Melinda. This is Dash's work. This is from when we were ordering numbers. Well done, Dash. Your work is extremely neat. And this is Baffinan's work. 